If you guys like couples gaming channels, then click the link down below. We play Sims over there too, and we would love to see you there. Hey guys, it's Fantasia, and welcome to another news slash speculation video. So, I am so glad you guys have been enjoying these. Thank you guys for letting me know that you enjoy speculation videos because I love making them. I'm never really sure if you guys would enjoy speculation videos, but it does seem like you do. And I mean, I love talking about like possibilities for The Sims 4 and just, you know, things that the gurus may answer that kind of just leave some speculation and thoughts and stuff like that. So we have some more stuff from SimGuru Grant. SimGuru Grant is always on Twitter answering questions that people have and things like that. And a lot of times, sometimes the way he like answers questions kind of get you really thinking. You're like, hmm, I wonder if this could happen or this could happen. You know what I mean? So we're going to get into these questions. And the first one comes from my Franson. And they said, is height for The Sims 4 a possibility or is it too hard to do? I was personally curious if this was too hard to do. And Grant says it's possible modders have made a version, but it's tough slash costly to do right. It'd be very cool to do. So as you guys know, like if they ever added um different heights in the game like when I say different heights you know like having adults all have different heights and even children just like a, you know you can just change your sims height however you want to no matter what their age they would have to go in and change like every single animation pretty much because like if someone who is like I don't know five foot is kissing someone who's like five four then they gotta kind of change it a bit so because like if you download the mod for example that has been created if you have sims kiss that are a different height it like one of the sim is like kissing the air <laughs> so they'd have to go in and make all of that look nice and that would take a lot of time and definitely would cost a lot so but he thinks it would be very cool to do so i mean it's possible right because they did say there's still like many years of Sims 4 content. So like, you never know what the game could end up being. It could end up being so cool. We could be, we could get things that we've never had before added onto the base game. I don't know. Lately, I'm just super curious to see what they do. And I'm actually really, really glad that The Sims 4 has lots more time and they're not like rushing to The Sims 5. Because if you guys follow the pattern of The Sims 1, 2, 3, and 4, by now we'd be like, wouldn't we almost be getting The Sims 5? But they're not going in that order this time. Like, they're not just rushing to The Sims 5 after a certain amount of years, it seems. So that is awesome. And I'm curious if we'll ever get different heights for The Sims 4. I'm kind of thinking we won't right now. However, comment down below your thoughts. Do you think we're going to get that? Because I'm curious to know what you guys think. So the next question comes from Kyle I don't know. I'm going to butcher that. So let's just say Kyle. <laughs> and he says, is body hair possible? So, um, SimGuru Grant actually did mention body hair in one of the other speculation videos I did. Um, he said that he would love to add that. And then now he says, yes, it is a possible, it is a possible to do thing. Okay. <laughs> um, so it is possible. And you know, I guess people are asking for it. Like, I don't know. I love seeing people ask for things that the gurus would actually love to add because he already said that he would love to have that back in the game. And, you know, now this person is asking for it. So, um, I don't know how many more people are asking for it. I think body hair would be cool to see in the game. I think in one of my other videos, I said like, I wouldn't be upset if we didn't get it. It's not something I really think about, but it would be nice to have and it would add more different looking sims because you know some sims have body hair some sims don't or some real life people i should say <laughs> and then some people don't so i think it'd be cool to kind of see and then you know you would have like a lot of body hair a little bit of body hair and it'd be nice to see body hair for the guys and the girls not just the guys because i feel like everything should be for both so that'd be pretty cool all right, so the next one it comes from Malika. I feel like I'm saying all these names wrong, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like that the, like you say that a different way. I don't know though. Um, so they said, would you ever consider bringing blenders to The Sims 4? And Grant replies saying, we've talked about it, but we have a lot of kitchen appliances and a blender would make more drinks, more soups. Would it really add too much value? Hmm. Okay. 
So personally, I would love blenders. I don't know if that's just me. Obviously, there is like some people who would want blenders too. There's always some people, but do you guys want blenders? Comment down below. I think it'd be kind of cool. I think it would be cool to make like smoothies. Okay, that's the main thing. Like I feel like you could wake up in the morning and make a smoothie or I don't know. I just think of smoothies when I think of that and literally that makes it worth it for me. That may seem lame, but like for example, we have an ice cream machine, so why not a blender or even like a smoothie maker. So it's like a blender, but it's like specifically for smoothies because, you know, we have a popcorn maker, we have an ice cream maker, we have a coffee maker. Um, I'd also really love to see a toaster. Oh, yes, I would love to see a toaster. I'd be okay. I would love just like more variety of different ways you can cook. So I'd love to be able to like have my sim get up in the morning and like go to the blender and make a smoothie or like go to the toaster and make some toast, make a bagel, something like that. I don't know. I think I would love that. Like, ooh, I don't know. Like make, and then like different kinds of toast, like buttered toast or whatever you want to do. Cream cheese on a bagel, things like that. Little things. I love that. And I love cooking in The Sims 4. It's so much fun for me. So I think that would be super duper fun. Comment below what you think. Do you want blenders? Do you not want blenders? And then do you want toasters? Just because that just came to my head. Do you think we'll ever get toasters? Do you think we'll ever get blenders? Now I want someone to ask about toasters and see what he says. <laughs> All right, so this one is pretty interesting. Again, I feel like I'm going to butcher their name. To, to me, it's like Lareen. I'm not sure though. <laughs> so they said, have you thought about making more options for garbage disposal, recycling slash sorting bins, trash compactor, and in cabinet bins um oh actually yeah that'd be cool for instance it would be it would sure be nice to be able to hide the bins in our builds that's a good idea okay so grant says it's a tough sell to promote that we made more garbage options um one of our challenges is that we know folks want to imitate life, but we also have to carefully choose compelling fun stories that are broadly appealing. It's a difficult balancing act. So I understand that. I think that is so true. So I would kind of understand if we didn't really get more garbage options. However, what this person says all sounds super cool to me. I don't know if it's just me. I mean, it's kind of like the same situation as like laundry day stuff. It's like, that's like, obviously imitates real life. And it's like, a lot of people wanted that, but a lot of people probably don't care about laundry. It just kind of depends on the way you play. So, and sometimes I find myself doing laundry a lot or just like forgetting about laundry. A lot of times I'm forgetting about laundry. However, I'm still so happy it's in the game because I just love that realism and stuff like that. So <laughs> sometimes I forget though. And I think it's because of my storytelling because when I didn't do Let's Plays yet and we had laundry in The Sims 3, I would always do laundry. Like my Sims had like a laundry schedule once or twice a week, you know, but it's like when you're storytelling, I feel like you're like focused on that. So like, I just always forget about the laundry. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think it'd be super cool to see. Okay. Especially like recycling. I think that'd be super nice to see and like being able to hide your garbage bins. <laughs> I would also love to see like, oh, I know there's no like cars in the game, but obviously we have like the fake cars and stuff like that. So I'd love to see like some sort of animation thing that like comes and picks up your garbage bin like every week like the garbage truck. Oh my God. Wait, I want that. Okay. Have, has anyone ever thought of that before? Oh my God. Same thing with like school buses. I wish like, I know we don't have cars, but just like, because like, I wish it was like an automatic thing where the school bus came and picked up the kids for school in the morning, you know, you know, <laughs> and then, yeah, now I wish there was like a garbage truck. That'd be so cool. Or like a truck, like when the delivery man comes, have it be like a truck pull up. And like, you know, there's not actually vehicles in the game, but it's just like an animation that happens. You know what I mean? Kind of the same way as when the fake cars drive by similar to that, you know, Ooh, that would be so cool. You guys. All right. So then Sarah asks, is there a max amount of animations able to be added per pack or just depend on what other content is included? Are there certain animations just too hard to ever do? And Grant says, this is a grand overstatement, but for every pack, we have capacity for every discipline, animation, modeling, concept, audio, engineering, etc. 
This dictates how much we make and where, etc. So I think that makes total sense. Um, I think we know this. If you don't, there you go. Now you got an answer to that. I think um, I wanted to include this just like, you know, to kind of, I guess, if, if you're not aware, like if, if there's a max amount of animation and stuff like this, this or and stuff like that, this can kind of clear it up for you. I feel like I just jumbled my words. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah. So sometimes like if, if certain things aren't included in a pack, like for example, example, did I just say example? <laughs> the, for example, the laundry day stuff, we got to create that as a community together. And a lot of people were wondering, well, cause there was like, different polls and stuff where we got to vote and some people were like well why can't we just have all of this in the pack and that's just because there's like a limit of how much they can do you know what i mean so they had to just like narrow it down so i think that makes sense as much as as much as it would be so amazing to see like so much included in a pack like a crazy amount that was just kind of like unrealistic i guess so sometimes things are gonna have to be cut out and that's just how it is. I think it makes sense and I don't, I'm not really like sad about it because it, it, it makes sense to me. Okay, so last but not least, this is kind of random because all of them were from SimGuru Grant, but I have one last one from SimGuru Graham. I wanted to include it because I have actually seen some people ask about this and stuff. So, uh, Not Your Man says, any chance we will be able to view the commercials and shows our Sims act in one day? Um, so obviously from Get Famous and Graham says, sorry, but I think it's safe to say that isn't on the table for consideration for things we'd add in the future. So sadly that won't be coming. I do think it would be super cool if we could view the commercials and shows that our sims act in one day on the tv i think that'd be so so cool comment below if you guys think that would be cool i just think that could be a great thing to add sadly obviously they're not adding it and they usually don't really add things to packs that we already have once they're out so like i wasn't expecting it but it would be so cool to see that oh my gosh like i was kind of hoping we could do something like that like before the pack even was released when we didn't really know much about it but no not gonna happen so that kind of sucks but i'm okay with it so that is everything for this news slash slash speculation video oh my god i can't talk hopefully there's some more exciting questions soon um there were some really exciting ones that i did in the last couple news and speculation videos these ones i just wanted to talk about but i'm gonna wait a little bit now until there's like hopefully like a bunch more questions that are pretty exciting to me and then i'll do a video on that and we can kind of talk about it together so anyways you guys that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys are all having an amazing amazing day and don't forget to leave some positivity down below i love you guys also so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Listen up, there's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much